I'm a Maritimer. And when I first came to Calgary, and I was driving down Crowchild Trail, and I saw a sign for the Naval Museum, I went, what? <laughs> because I had no idea about the long tradition of Calgary and Prairie participation in the Canadian Navy. When you think of Calgary, you don't think of it as a great naval um, city. You know, it's landlocked, there's no seas for you know, 600 kilometers. But the Naval Museum of Alberta is, and here in Calgary is one of the best that I have seen all the different maritime um, naval museums around the world from stretching from you know, Vancouver, Victoria, Halifax, Istanbul. The Naval Museum of Alberta is a national treasure. That's what it is. It has some of the most fantastic models uh, completed to the, the finest of details. They've got several uh, guns that are out there that came off of ships. They've got three aircraft, and I think the, uh, this museum is the only one in Canada that has three aircraft that served on a carrier uh, of any note. Some of the more unique things in this museum are the actual full-scale, the actual equipment used on the real ships in you know the past past years, and the fact that they've actually brought them, lifted them off the ships like an entire gun turret and then moved them into the gallery here, or entire aircraft that you know was used in one of our old aircraft carriers and actually just sitting there that can you know go up to and see for close up. That is something that's really remarkable. We have um, volunteers that man a desk. These watchkeepers are largely World War II veterans. So they bring a vast wealth of experience and can talk to uh, a lot of the artifacts uh, are from the, from the Second World War. They like being here and they've got some great stories to tell. They can actually talk to somebody who can point out what is going on and what these things do. It's a very educational museum, really is, I think. I mean, the, the school kids come over here, and, you know, and they really appreciate it. And the, all the cadet corps and all the sea cadets, and the, they come and they, they pay attention when they come here. The Naval Museum of Alberta is housed within an entity called the Military Museums, which is actually a collaboration, a partnership of seven entities. The Military Museums has a memorandum of agreement between the University of Calgary and Department of National Defense to provide library services here at the museum. The new naval collection that we receive here at the libraries and the museum's archives are absolutely stunning because they are from two very renowned naval researchers and writers in this country. The archives include the Chemic First and Photographic Archives, which is a collection of naval vessels and life aboard those ships. There's nothing like it anywhere in the world. It's 65,000 photographs, mostly black and white photographs and images, but right up into modern times. We, we probably get three requests a week from people that say, my dad or my grandpa served aboard HMCS, whatever. Do you, would you have a picture of that ship? Well, we can say, not only do we have your picture, but tell us who your grandpa was, because we may have his picture too. Also included in the collection are the archives that were compiled by uh, John Burgess over his life. You can take a look through these records and choose any date throughout the Second World War and, and get a really good uh, perspective in terms of what was happening with the convoys and, and what was happening with the ships. John could tell you which ship was in this column in which position. He could tell you uh, what the ship was, who the captain was, who the crew was, because he's pulled all this information from many other sources. He can tell you what their cargo was down to 
you know, whether it was three tanks and this many bombs, or what, whether it was grain. He can tell you what this propulsion was. Was it coal? Was it oil? He can tell you uh, how far it is away from re refit. It's extraordinary what this man has, has accumulated. Being able to access all of these um, documents allow you to be better connected to our maritime heritage, our past. Canada is a maritime nation. It was, has been a maritime nation and will continue to be a maritime nation. So, you know, being able to access this even in landlocked Calgary is of absolute, you know, importance. The involvement with the Navy and the military museums is one of great synergy. Every time you turn around, there's another activity, uh, there's another educational program going on, and I think we need to remember what's, what has happened in the past. That's history. We, you know, we need to be able to show that type of thing off. The traffic that's coming in here isn't just coming to see Navy. They're, they might be in, they might be armed, you know, people who are interested in the Army or the Air Force, and that was the first thing that brought them through the door. But then they move on and they find out about Canada's Navy at the same time. How good is that? It's wonderful. So uh, public, uh, public interest is quite strong. Here in Calgary, there's a real interest in the Navy. 